Welcome, so today I'm going to do a video on equations with matrices. I'm going to start out in this video with simple one-step ones, mostly things that have addition, subtraction, a little bit of multiplication, nothing too serious. You don't have to use inverses in this one or anything like that. So let's get to it. So in this equation, it, it's almost as if you're solving a regular equation with just uh, a variable and some numbers. If I said x plus 3 is equal to 5, well, you would know you just subtract 3 and you find out that x's value is 2. Same thing here. Um, except instead of subtracting 3, you just subtract this matrix. The nice thing about this is they do have corresponding element, elements sorry, so that you can actually take care of what you need to take care of. So 13 minus 5 is, of course, 8. 2 minus negative 2, so it would be 2 plus 2 is 4. Negative 12 minus negative 2, or negative 12 plus 2, so you end up with negative 10. And that is the resulting matrix that you would get. I mean, really, uh, not that complicated. So let's look at another one of similar style. Click back a couple. Now, uh, actually, I want to save this one just a minute. So for number two, you see that I have 2a is equal to this matrix. If I give you 2a is equal to 12, you would probably say, well, that's a joke. You just divide both sides by 2. And a is, of course, 6. We may just immediately say a is 6. Now, in this uh, situation, same thing. I just need to divide both sides by 2. And the nice thing is, since it's on the outside, it becomes sort of a, a scalar situation. So I can just divide each term by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. Negative 12 divided by 2 is negative 6. Negative 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. And negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. So there is my final answer for that one. It's pretty simple stuff. I mean, like I said, this is not, I'm not trying to make very complicated ones. This is just trying to get your feet warm into the idea of how that part of it works. And uh, the last one I want to do is number one. Because I said simple one-step equations, and it's really not a simple one-step equation. It's simple, but it's not one step. It's actually two steps. And there's a few ways you could go about doing it. This is very similar to having something like 5 minus x is equal to, let's say, 13. Now, there's a couple ways I could go about it. I could move the x over here by adding x to both sides and end up with uh, 5 equals x plus 13. And in that case, I would subtract 13 from both sides and find out that x is equal to negative 8. On the other, uh, from another perspective, I could always use the fact that this is plus 5 to subtract it end up with 8, and then I need to divide both sides by negative 1, and uh, my final answer is going to be x is equal to negative 8, just like it is up here. Those are a couple of the options that I have there. Here, it's the same exact thing. I'm actually going to do the um, adding b to both sides here, just because I, I want to. I don't want to divide by negative 1, really. So I'm going to add b to both sides, and since we don't know what b is, it stands for the resulting matrix, but we don't know what that is yet. So the nice thing for me is that I don't add it to each term. I just put plus b over here, and then I'll just bring everything else sort of down. And from this point, I need to get rid of plus this matrix, so I'm going to subtract this matrix on both sides. Those cancel. Uh, negative, or minus 11 I meant to put this, ne this on the outside instead of on the inside, so the negative is here, or the minus is here. Um, negative 5 and 14, and this time I'm actually going to put it on the outside like I'm supposed to. So B comes down here, I do 5 minus 11, I get negative 6. I do 5 minus negative 5, which is of course 5 plus 5, or 10. And then I do negative 9 minus, not negative, 9 minus 14, and I end up with negative 5. So this is my result. Uh, I'm going to check to make sure that it's right, and if I'm, that's it, I'm done. So not too difficult to do these. Like I said, they're simple one steps, no inverses required. Don't freak out when you see them. They're not as complicated as they look.